Welcome back to Just Cook Damn It. Today I am going to be making a bowl of red beans and rice. So what you want to do is start off by chopping or dicing up your trinity and that includes celery, green peppers, and last but not least, a white onion. And once you've diced and chopped up this trinity, you want to place it to the side, get your pot out, and heat it up to a medium. Add in some olive oil. You just want to make sure it is hot. Because we're going to start making our roux. So the trick in making your roux is to add in your flour slowly and stir all the while because you don't want your roux to burn. So it's going to start off with a light tan white color and we're going to bring it up to a milk chocolate like color, like a dark brown. I know your wrist is probably going to hurt. And if, I mean, if you're an expert on a roux, you can turn up the heat and stir in the flour and get your roux made quickly, or you can have it on medium and stir in and take your time making it. You just don't want to burn your roux. That's, that's the only thing you don't want to do. Just don't burn the roux. So you see here, my roux is starting to get darker and darker as I stir and this is just about the color I wanted and yes so I'm going to add in my trinity once the trinity is added I'm going to stir and coat the roux all over the trinity now note my pot is still on medium I'm still cooking. I like to cook it and I like to get those flavors of the Trinity out. And a kick is to keep it at medium and also add in some salt and pepper. Keep an eye on the white onion. <laughs> Make sure you get the onion to a translucent color. And once it's translucent, you want to add in minced garlic. You want to stir this. Get those flavors going. And I tell you, the, the, the smell right now is amazing. Then you add in your red beans that has been soaked overnight or you did a quick soak whichever way you like to soak your beans but you definitely want to make sure you soak those beans it won't take as long to cook them if you soak them and add in some chicken broth stir very well make sure everything is coated and here I've use one container of chicken broth but I always have a second container on the side for just in case purposes because what will happen is that chicken broth will cook down I like some Tony's Cajun sauce. It gives it a little bit of a kick. Make sure you are not heavy handed on this unless you like it spicy. You know, with, with my acid reflux, I can't have it too spicy, but hey, sometimes I like to live on the edge. Next, you wanna go ahead and chop up some sausage. A Dewey sausage will do, or just a smoked sausage will do as well. And what I like to do with my sausage after chopping it up is I like to actually fry them before adding it into the red beans. 
I like to give it that little bit of a burnt coating on our, on the sausages if you want to call it a burnt coating. So in a pan with some oil, I cook the sausage, keep tossing and turning them until they get a little bit crispy and just, just a tad burnt on the sides. Afterwards, I add them into the pot. So another thing I add into a pot is a turkey leg that has already been cooking on the side, that smoked turkey leg. You want to just go ahead and pull the meat apart. I was too lazy to actually sit it on the side and go through the meat myself and the bones. So here you see I'm just pulling it apart and grabbing the bones and throwing them off to the side. And just, just so you know, the sausage that I'm using right now is a Dewey tur turkey sausage. Everything in this is turkey. So I don't use any pork in my red beans and rice. So once you've added the turkey, the shredded turkey meat from the drumstick, I then add in some bay leaves and let it cook. It'll get thicker and thicker over time and it'll end up like this. Now this bad boy took about two, two hours on a medium heat to cook thoroughly. It's like a set it and forget it. But whew, when I tell you I cannot wait to make a bowl of this. So while that was cooking, I, I did make my rice on the side. So here's me doing my presentation bowl like I always do. You throw your rice in the bowl. This is a, a smaller portion. Because you know, after you put your rice in the bowl, then you want to scoop in some of the red beans and rice. My goodness, look at that. Now what I like to do with my red beans and rice is I like to add red hot. I mean, whatever hot sauce that you got in your cabinet or pantry, go ahead and add that on there. And there you go. Enjoy this nice bowl. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you would like to follow me. God bless.